everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we are going to learn how to crochet the block and offset shell stitch, which you can see here in front of you. Now this stitch is worked similar to the tilted rose stitch, which you can also find here on my channel. Um, it differs in that it has these wider blocks of double crochet stitches, which really uh, sets off these slanted shell stitches there in the middle uh, and it's a little bit more robust because of that than the tilted rose stitch. The stitch is uh, one that looks complicated but it's actually quite easy to work. It's a simple one row repeat which makes it great for those mindless larger projects that you may want to work. It's similar on the front as it is on the back. Today for the tutorial I'm going to be using a 5mm crochet hook as well as a little bit of this Cotton Aran yarn by Paintbox Yarn. You'll find links to both of these items in the description of this video. Also in the description you will find a link to the free written crochet pattern on my blog at richtexturescrochet.com. Our tutorial today is worked in rows, so you're going to start by making a slip knot and then by making a foundation chain and your foundation chain needs to be a multiple of 11 stitches plus 7. So today I'm going to chain a total of 40 chain stitches. There's 20, thirty, and forty. Once you have your foundation chain, the desired length. You're going to begin by working one double crochet into the fourth chain from your hook. So count in one, two, three, four. Work one double crochet into that fourth chain. The chain three at the beginning does count as a double crochet stitch. You're then going to work one double crochet into each of the next three stitches. Next, you're going to skip the next two chains and then work five double crochet into the next stitch. This will be your first shell stitch. Once you've worked five double crochets all into the next same stitch, you're going to chain two, skip three stitches, one, two, three, and then work one double crochet into each of the next five stitches. You're then going to repeat, skip the next two chains, work five double crochets into the next stitch, chain two, skip three and work one double crochet into the next five stitches. You're going to repeat that all the way across.
At the end of your row one, you're going to chain three, which counts as a double crochet stitch, and turn your work. For row two, you're going to work one double crochet into each of the next four stitches. Skip the next chain 2 space, skip the next double crochet stitch, and then into the next double crochet work 5 stitch, double crochet stitches. So skip the chain 2, skip the first stitch, into the next stitch work 5 double crochets. chain 2, skip the next 3 stitches, and then work 1 double crochet into each of the next 5 stitches. You're now going to repeat that all the way across. Skip the next chain 2 space, skip the next stitch, work 5 double crochets into your next double crochet stitch, chain 2, skip the next 3 double crochet stitches and work one double crochet in each of the next five. Repeat all the way to the end of your row. At the end of your row two, you're going to chain three and turn your work. And that's it. For the rest of the pattern, you're simply going to repeat that row two. So one double crochet into each of the next four. Skip the chain 2 space, work and skip the next stitch, work 5 double crochets into that next stitch. Chain 2, skip the next 3 stitches and work 1 double crochet into each of the next 5 stitches. Repeat that all the way across and you have your offset shell stitch. So thank you so much uh, for joining me and uh, once again don't forget to subscribe and I look forward to seeing you ne again next week. Until then, happy crocheting. Bye. <laughs>